Not the, not the car. Hey, his blick look like it's a bot. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, the flick? The hell Wait. was that? What? Why did he look to the right? That was a that was kind of a crazy flick. He might be doing a thing. Well, 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 I decided to do it again. No, I'm just playing. I've never done this before. A lot of people keep asking me over and over again, how do I aim like that? How do I control my sensitivity? How the hell am I playing 2020 with the 1.40 low zoom ADS speed? But before I tell you the hows and the whys, I will be going through a few steps on how to actually train your aim and train your sensitivity control in general. So yeah, if you're someone interested in how I do the things I do, or you're just interested in how to actually play max sensitivity without not being able to control it then this is the video for you so yes i actually recommend you watching through this entire video if you are interested in this but without further ado let's get into the video okay so we're actually gonna go through this by steps that way you guys can just follow along i'm gonna try to explain everything as simplistic as possible and i will also be showing you clip examples as well just so it helps a little bit more of what i'm talking about now before we actually get into the video there are five things i'm going to be talking about throughout this video the first thing is flicking then there's tracking sensitivity control strafing and your reaction speed and let me just give you an example real quick oh, Step one, custom game. A custom game is the most important part of this factor because you will actually be doing everything in a custom game. Now, what I want you guys to do here is you actually want to put a free for all and put the smallest map you can find and you can just choose shipment or rest, just any typical small map. You wanna set the time limit. To, usually what I do is I set the timer to 10 minutes and I put the score to about like unlimited or whatever. And then just turn on the uh, radar always on on constant so you know where the enemies are. And what you wanna do is you wanna add about five to ten bots depending on how small the map is that you choose put them on recruit then you want to come over here and you want to find the most zero recoil gun possible to use for this for example I'm using the MCW go ahead and slap a 60 round mag or however many uh, bullets you can put on at once and as you can tell it has uh, pretty much zero recoil Step two is learning how to flick onto your targets accurately. So as you all know, I run 2020 with a 1.40 low zoom and I will be showing you guys some examples of what I'm talking about when it comes to flicking on controller. He was in bottom green with an Uzi. Oh my God, KBM is broken. Can I'm on controller, brother, on, sorry. Brother. No way, no way. left side he's coming to a right now <laughs> all right so i'm actually gonna leave my hand cam on for this one because i know y'all are probably like what is he doing how does he do the things that he does now before i actually get into the custom game i'm gonna show you guys exactly what my fingers look like when i'm doing it so it just looks like this like when i flick someone Also, your left stick is a big part of your flicks too, because 100% of the time, you're not gonna get the perfect flick. So in order to make up for this difference right here, you wanna just strafe to the left and adjust your aim. Like if you ever just mess up your aim or whatever, you just wanna adjust your aim with your left stick by moving a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can't over flick. It's not gonna be 100% accurate. I also forgot to mention, you can go over here to player and if you want, you can raise the health to about like 300 points. That's basically like Warzone health. So if you ever just wanna like, you know, train for that, then go ahead and do that. Okay, also one more thing that I forgot to mention was you can actually use a deagle or a gun that uh, actually one taps people is probably the best uh, way to actually get your flicks to its max potential. One important thing is you always want to put the enemy in the corner of your screen before you actually do the flick. Like just in case somebody surprises you, go through a door. Oh, boom, there's a guy over there. Flicking is mostly about your reaction speed. So that's why I say to put the enemy in the corner of your screen because you don't know if someone can pop out of nowhere and instantly just fry you. But if you are able to react to that, and actually just turn and start shooting them. 
then it'll probably save you 100% of the time. See how that guy just came out of nowhere? I didn't even know he was there. I just heard a gunshot and I instantly just, you see? There's nothing really uh, more to explain when it comes to uh, flicking on a controller. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna be going on to step three and I'll see you guys there. Okay, for step three, you actually want to put go into the settings like I did earlier, and I want you to put the max health to the max health, okay? This is going to help you immensely with like tracking your enemies, because I know a lot of you probably are going to play Warzone. Tracking is probably the biggest part of Warzone or Call of Duty in general. Like, people eat bullets. It's just a normal thing. And also for this one, I recommend putting on like a bigger map that doesn't take much to see and just flood it with bots. For example, you could just use terminal and then just give yourself the max amount of bots that you could possibly we have well i'll just make this a checkpoint also because i forgot to tell you one of the most important things is that you can actually do this i'd 100 recommend turning off your aim assist through this entire process because as soon as you turn your aim assist back on you're just going to be aimbotting everything and while you're at it since you've already made it this far go ahead and comment porcupine balls down in the comment section i want to i want to see who can actually fucking spell porcupine without using the autocorrect but yeah let's get back to the video so once you're in game it's pretty simplistic I just really want you guys to run around, find the bots, and just try to laser them without missing, okay? The whole point of this exercise is to get as much accuracy as you possibly can while lasering the enemy. I usually do this for 10 hours before I start... <laughs> 10 hours. <laughs> I usually do this for 10 minutes before I like start my stream and stuff just so I'm extra warmed up. One of the most important things that you need to do, like I said earlier, is to strafe. They have way more health, bro. So strafing, you can't just stand still. You're just gonna get beamed, okay? If you're going to the left with your uh, left stick, I want you to aim to the right. If you go to the right with your uh, left stick, I want you to aim to the left, like this. Kind of like if you've ever played apex you know exactly what i'm talking about strafing does actually help with your recoil control as well so that is another you know important factor that you guys need to know some guns have more strafe uh than, than others so just keep that in mind okay now that our aiming routine is actually out of the way i want to talk about probably the most important thing besides aiming which is sensitivity control i'm going to show you guys exactly how to control your sensitivity a lot of you will get on 2020 and, and be fucking spinning without even <laughs> without even being able to look straight let me teach you guys how to control it properly you probably didn't expect this but i do not want you to go straight to 2020 please listen to me do what you're told and take this advice i would probably start anywhere between 14 to 16. Never Never just go straight to 2020 that's your biggest mistake bro you can't even control the sense in the first place so you have to work your way up what i did when i was first ever like going to max sensitivity i went from 14 14 and every single day i went i pushed my sense up by one so and then just keeps going up until i hit 20 and once i hit 20 but one thing about this is i kept doing the same exact routine with the bots over and over again every single day every time i got on i shot bots for 10 minutes did everything i needed to do and then hopped in the game if you guys did not know i don't just play 2020 i can literally play any sensitivity and be good at it and don't think just because this video is specifically like about max sensitivity you can literally do this on any sensitivity you want now this is going to be the last step of the video and it's basically just like a summary of everything combined together and i just want to let it be known that the whole point of this video is to just train you guys on what to do i gave you tips on how you can do it and how to just master max sensitivity in general or any sensitivity that you want to use also i'm sorry if i'm bad at explaining things you know this is like i, I never normally do these type of videos so don't get too mad at me all right so to end things off with everything that i've already talked about with the sensitivities i know this video is going to be titled something like something about max sensitivity and how to master it and stuff but in reality you can use pretty much any sensitivity you want and do the same exact things and still be an aim god but the final step i wanted to talk about is is really like just a common sense uh thing do not change your sensitivity i want you guys to pick a specific sensitivity and go along with the routine i mentioned and i promise you'll be able to master it if you just do exactly what i told you throughout this entire video and once you do that if you master look let me tell you this if you master a high sensitivity first you can be you, you'll be able to play any sensitivity you want i can go to 8 8 right now and still move the exact same like i was just moving it's really not hard it just takes a little bit of uh, like getting used to but it's 
Because when you master a sensitivity, you can literally make that sensitivity look like it's faster than it should be. I'm playing AA right now, and I was just on 2020. That's pretty much what I mean by all this, but if you guys did find this video useful or if you did watch to the end, I love you and I appreciate you. And comment that you watched to the end so I can give you a heart down in the comment section. But I have nothing really else to say. My brain's fried. I've been I literally been... <laughs> Look at me, look at me. Bro, I've been doing this video for like about five hours now, straight. Like, I've, I've been thinking of how to talk to you guys for five hours. So, the least you can do is leave a like. And if you're new here, drop a sub. But without further ado, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.